Where in the world is my will to live? Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides editions. I'm here on Zack Snyder. On the B-Sides, we cover the new and trending things in the same format as your everyday nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. In my attempt to be current with what's new on Netflix, I decided to check out the new Carmen Sandiego series, and I gotta be honest with you, I really enjoyed it. Now, I'm no stranger to Carmen Sandiego. Back in the 80s and 90s, there was an entire set of educational games revolving around this character, Carmen Sandiego. Now, I've never played those games, but in the late 90s and early 2000s, the company, The Learning Company, I know, that was, that was a stupid sentence. Anyways, this company brought back these series of games and I played a couple of them when I was a kid. In fact, my entire video game knowledge revolved around plug and play video games and computer educational games until like middle school. So I'll have to cover some of those in the future. Anyways, what we're looking at here is an animated adaptation to a 20 plus year old educational game about geography. And they do a surprisingly great job at adapting it. You're the finest criminal in that class. I realized stealing isn't a game. It does harm people. No! The whole concept around Carmen Sandiego is that she is a thief who's really good at geography, and you have to also get good at geography in order to capture her in the games. The show ends up putting this formula on its head by making Carmen an anti-hero of sorts, and it works, like, really well. In fact, the biggest difference between this show and every other version of Carmen Sandiego is that this show is about her perspective of things while every other version is trying to like catch Carmen. The first two episodes are entirely dedicated to introducing us to this world where Carmen was a little girl that was taken in by Vile Academy, a school that teaches thievery but is actually a super villainous organization. I won't give away her entire backstory, but we do get most of the backstory in the first two episodes through a means that I'm a little bit iffy on. Essentially, she ends up running into this old friend and we hear the entire backstory as she tells him this backstory. It's a very kids show kind of thing to do, but we'll get into that in a bit. At the end of the day, this adaptation is still entertaining, especially through its use of distinct animation style, which I really enjoyed. It has moments that are chuckle worthy. There's a few cheesy moments that I actually liked, and there's some pretty good action sequences as well. The opening theme is also pretty catchy. What's really neat is that it does pay homage to all of the old series really well. Both Vile and Acme play a pivotal role in the main plot. There are many characters that are from the games and the old cartoon, and some of the characters are even kind of complex, especially Carmen. I also like that at the end of the show, there's this big bamboozle that makes so much sense when you think about it, but I didn't see it coming whatsoever, and that was really dope. Also, the voice acting is pretty solid. Like, a lot of kids' shows have this issue where voice acting can either be bad or grating or right there in the middle. Th this is pretty solid. And honestly, my only real issues with the show come from the fact that it is targeted towards kids, so I can't even really be mad at them. They do throw in some geography facts throughout most episodes because they want the kiddies to learn, but it's only for like a minute out of the entire 24 to 33 minute runtime of each episode. So you just kind of roll your eyes and maybe you'll even learn something. Who knows? Other than that, I would recommend this show for anybody who wants a quick animated series on Netflix. It's like nine episodes long, so you can binge it in an afternoon. I'd also recommend it to anybody who has kids that doesn't mind watching a cartoon with their kids because it's still entertaining as an adult. I surprisingly enjoyed this, and if a season two comes out, which it looks like there will be, I'm definitely going to give it a watch. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If for whatever reason you didn't like it, you can hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen Carmen Sandiego. And if so, what did you think about it? Go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd, and I will see you later. Goodbye.